What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on, uh, I believe it's our Bads account here, uh, we have a decent store of contract starry gems built up, we actually have a really cool account here, that is kind of progressing into Destiny transition and such, you can see even has and snagged a pretty good copy of a giant killer here, for a VIP 9, this is a very well spent money account, I would say, as far as progress has been, so we are going to be doing the soul awakening gala for him uh here did the contract which is cool i'm gonna leave the actual rewards for him we are going i believe for the 300 point mark let me just confirm everything uh we got a little over 3,000. we are going to be doing vessels and we're going to be doing lord of fear aspens or just regular aspens uh we're going for 300 points and we're going to retire d plus and below while keeping the c copies for the statue and that's kind of like what we talked about on our own account how we were kind of separating stuff out but 3400 probably not enough to go off of but with retiring the lower tier heroes should be good let's start off with the aspen i think because even though we already have an aspen probably still the best thing to sell nowadays get lucky and Let's go. I'm hoping we do similar or better than what we did on our main account here today because we hit, what, 48-ish uh, awakenings, which normally like 45 is considered very, very high roll. So 48 to 50 is pretty much a mid roll and then like closer to 55 is like the super low roll. To be honest, let's just get a mid roll overall, but just give us a giant killer. Even if it's a duplicate hero copy with an Aspen, I mean, I would be cool with that. I'd be perfectly fine. I'd love to see it, even though we can't get it on our own account. Honestly, it would probably feel better getting it for one of our viewers to know that we shared some luck with them and we got <laughs> a really good hero copy that they can either sell, use, or whatever. Uh, we could jump back and forth, though. We could do some Aspen copies and some Vesa. I think at the end of the day, we're going to have to use just about all these hero copies we have up in the bag anyway, so... Why not? Let's just do the Aspens first. Get them out of the way. We'll get all of our bad luck because the game's like, there's no way I'm going to give you an Aspen copy that's good. There's no way. Uh, what? This is feeling like a kind of high roll here. We're getting, oh, wow. That was actually a B minus hero copy. Okay. We hit our first B of the day and it's not even on my own account. Uh, but that's really good for points. And again, we're going for 300. So it's going to take a bit to get us there. Let's keep going with these awakenings here. E, of course, we're going to get a ton of E's in that range. I mean, a solid E is good, though, I think, right? Is an E5? No, an E plus is 5. So an E is only 4, so not that great. D minus is cool. That gives you 6 points. That's above average. Hmm? I mean, we'll take those. As if we're just talking points, those are pretty solid awakenings, and we're going to retire anything D plus and lower. Uh, two more to go. Let's see if we get lucky. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see if we can get unlucky. Maybe we need to do reverse psychology in the game. Let's just get the worst copy ever. Nope, I think, I think it actually listened that time. Hmm. So let's retire out of these guys here. Uh, so we can retire the E's. We can retire up to the D+. Plus. That should be pretty good, actually. Okay, and now let's move on to the Vesa copies. So like I said, we got a ton of Vesas here. Let's see how they turn out. Hopefully pretty good. We can hit something really awesome. Either you can use it, sell it. Kind of do whatever he wants. It might be worthwhile to build a strong Vesa alongside a strong Lord of Your Aspen. You never know. Hmm. Not the best. <laughs> Not the best for sure. Okay. Come on. This this used to be the hero to go for. So just taking a look, we are at about 112 points right now. I apologize if it feels like this again. It feels like a very chopped up video. It's just still recovering from this. I have a really bad cough still. So sometimes I just have to hit the emergency button and uh, stop recording or cut it from the clip and then piece things together because I don't think you guys want to see me 
hacking up a lung on this. I don't want to be seeing myself do that either. So let's instead get some good footage and get a good recording. If I have to, and somehow we pull something amazing, and I just go crazy. I'll just cut myself out of this corner down here and the audio and let you guys see the awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, man. It's a B minus. It's crazy how this is a B minus. And this is also B minus, but the roll was like so much better. So much better. All right. Well, I mean, I mean, that's good for points. It's definitely good for points. It's a B minus hero, though, even on attack. So it's not really a copy that's going to sell. However, it will be worth a thousand points, a.k.a. 10 levels or 10 stat points in the statue, which is pretty cool. Let's keep going here, see what else we can find. Anything worthwhile would be awesome. I mean, C tiers, you guys know we like C tiers. Those retire for a pretty good amount in the Soul Gathering statue or refund plus in here. And that really is this big question for a lot of people is like, what do you do with your resources? Which why I figured we should make the video earlier today. If you guys didn't see it, we had a retire versus statue video talking about the pros and cons of each way. Cliff Notes version, free to play, never, 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 never do statue. We are hitting a ton of CT. What? What? Okay, that's weird. Not a fan of that one. Uh, we're going to have to use all these Vestas and do retirements and get more hero copies before we are done here so we can finish this out. Again, I really hope we just don't have to touch any starry gems. I hope we can just get with. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Three, <laughs> three, holy cow, three B minus. That's three more than I got. <laughs> uh, hopefully I used up all my bad luck so that all the viewer summons that you see here today and tomorrow and the next day are just super duper premium. So last Vessa right here. Mm, okay, yeah, we, we, we kind of went downhill after that. We are going to have to claim out some rewards, though. So let's see. We're at 215. That's pretty solid. We have a bunch of these chests. We're going to use all of them, I think, on Aspen copies now. We're going to go back to Aspen's. And honestly, it doesn't have a huge hero list. So I'm just grabbing these out and using them shouldn't be too bad. Um, we'll get rid of some more of these because we're going to need at least 10 more. And actually, it kind of works out perfect. Almost 900. So let's get to the Aspen copies here. Do nine more of them and see where we're at. There's a very low chance we get to 300 points with just these nine. So we are going to have to continue to keep retiring. But my goodness, 3B minus is already a pretty good run overall. And considering we didn't start with like 4,500 starry gems, this is going to be a pretty good scenario. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, four B minus, count them, one, two, three, four. This is ridiculous, the amount of B tier heroes we're actually getting out of this. Do not expect this. This is what I consider a point high roll as far as quality, quantity of quality. Um, of course, if we hit like an A minus, it wouldn't matter to me if we hit all E minus for the rest of the time, as long as we got that one clutch one right there. This is going to come down to the wire, though. I hope we have enough. Otherwise, I'm going to have to see what he wants to do on this account here. Three more to go. Can we hit another B minus or higher? That would be really cool. Good Lord. I didn't hit a single one on my own account. It's oh. five, five B minus heroes. What is happening here? And more C tier copies. Holy cow. This is. This is crazy. 190. Okay, let's see what our point total is. 282. We're so close. So we got four more Aspen copies. Um, I think we can make this work. I think. Mm, that's not great. That's six points. 282 plus six is 288. I need something good here. Mm, a little shy. 
Oof. Yeah, that does suck. 291. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to retire one of these C minus here. And maybe even one more. Maybe. Definitely one more. Kind of sucks. Uh, that Kiapi is not going to be enough, so we'll just do the retirement there. And this should be the final summon. Can we hit six? For a second there, I almost thought that was orange. I thought. 301, so uh, not too bad. Ended up with a grand total of how many? Eight, 20, 37, eight. Gosh, hold on. My, my, my brain couldn't comprehend that for a second there. So that's 20, 30, 7, 8, 41, 46. That's a really big high roll, mainly because of this right here. Holy cow. So uh, I guess that's a high roll. Because now if you take a look at the statue, that's a lot of B minus heroes that were not here before. Not too bad. <laughs> so lots of rewards, lots of stuff you guys want me to do. Your solo awakening as well. Let me know. I'll see you guys next time.